Thanks for tuning in to Real Talk and Whatnot. I'm your host, Micah Dealey, and if you're new to this podcast, this is a show where I highlight the talented individuals who live within the Central Valley of California, as well as people in general who are passionate about what they do. Once again, I'm going to remind you guys about reviews and downloads. So if you're watching this on Spotify, or not watching it, if you're listening to this on Spotify or listening to it on Apple Podcasts, make sure you're downloading every single episode and leaving a review. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you're commenting on YouTube as well as going over to a different podcast app and downloading it because that, once again, is going to help out the algorithm of the show. Uh, Shout out to... uh, Anchorage, Alaska, or anybody in Alaska, if you're listening to this, please message me, as well as Hugh, Ohio. You guys are like almost my top number one and two. Uh, I think you're three and four, but regardless, you're nowhere near the Central Valley, so I would love to hear why you like the show, why you like listening to it. And you can find me on Instagram at Micah, M-I-C-A-H dot D-A-L-E, D-I-E-L-E. Just message me, and I would love to hear why you like the show, why it's standing out to you, because I really appreciate the support that I'm getting. Now let's just jump straight into the artist today. Now today I have a great interview with the artist uh, named Deja Montoya. Now she's only 19 years old and she's seriously one of the dopest rappers within the 209, if not California, if not the world, you know, whatever. I, I'm, I'm calling it big, I'm speaking this into existence for her. But she's a really talented individual. Um, she is only 19 years old and she holds herself so much better than an average 19 year old. She just knows what she wants in this life and she's going after it. And I can just so happy that I could have her on so she could explain her musical process, what she wants out of this. And it's not like something that like a lot of people just want money, fame, whatever. It's nothing like that for her. It's just all about giving back. And we get into that in the podcast. So I'm just really happy and so thankful that she came on to Real Talk and whatnot, and that you guys can now hear her perform two different songs. So in the beginning, she's going to perform a song, Don't Save Me, and at the end, she's going to be performing a song called Big Bad. So let's just jump straight into it with Don't Save Me. Once again, you guys, here is Deja Montoya. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my guest today, Deja Montoya, performing her song, Don't Save Me, off her EP, Miss Wrong. Let that shit rip. Show you how to get back 
This is it. Real talk. What not? Real talk. That's real talk. Real talk. Real talk. Real talk. <laughs> What's up? It's Deja the 209 Princess, and I'm here in the building. Yep, Deja 209 <laughs> Princess is in the building, you guys. All right, so Deja, tell us a little bit about what you do. So I make music. I'm a singer, rapper, artist. Artist all in general. <laughs> right. <laughs> gotcha. That's cool. So like, when did this start? When did you start making music? Has it always been a thing or? It's kind of, the music thing has kind of always been a thing. I've always loved music since I was little. I remember like making up songs in my head and making like little, started off like as poems and things like that. Mm -hmm. And then I sort of was just like. At school, the there was kids. They would have, like, rap battles and stuff. And I oh, was okay. Like, I would always think of stuff in my head that I would say, you know, but uh -huh. I was way too shy. So I was like, I'm not going to do that. So I would just kind of do it on my own time. So mm -hmm. I could do it like that. So it started off as poems, and then I sort of just put the poems on beats and started doing stuff like that. Okay, gotcha. And was there, like, an age that you felt like you started, like, yeah. this is what I want to do? Or... Yeah, when I was younger, I always thought, like, I wanted to be a singer. But mm -hmm. it became more, like, real when I was around, like... 14, I think. Mm -hmm. 13, 14 was like around the age I started like writing on beats and making them into songs. Okay. And how old are you? I actually don't even know. 19. 19? You're 19? Yeah. Dude, you're killing it. You're only <laughs> 19? You. Holy crap. <laughs> Thank you. That's awesome. That is so cool. Thank you. And then so uh, 14, 15, you started doing it. And then let's say, what? When did, it, when did it really start? Like when did you first record a song? When did it like start to build up to right. what it is now? I think. I think I was, I was around 16 or 17, I'm pretty sure, when I, when I actually recorded mm -hmm. my first song. And then I went to a studio that I still go to now, Deep Sound and Modesto, mm -hmm. did my first song. And then with that first song, I did my first video. And then after that, it sort of just started, I started doing it like that. Oh, okay. Just, and it just yeah. slowly built up. And then are you like, uh, are you independent? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. And you just record at the studio. Mm -hmm. And it seems like there's a there's a good amount of people over there, right? Or yeah, like I've just seen of, like some of your stories and stuff. Like there's a lot of artists. Yeah, yeah. A lot that, of work. And over that's there. cool because uh it seems like the Central Valley is kind of lacking in the sense of like a uh, hip hop based community. Cause right. you see like the Bay Area have a whole movement. Right, you whole... see LA, Philly, wherever else. And it's like we have there's thousands of rappers here, and yeah, we'll say there's, there's hundreds lot. of good ones, right? Whatever, you know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, but there's because it seems like every other person's a rapper here. Right. But uh, it seems like like if the and it's it is slowly becoming like we're slowly coming together. But I feel like if the Central Valley just like put on things together, they could really show up. Yeah, like come together. That's kind of what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Start movements here, events here. That's, bring it that's what I'm here. trying to do too. <laughs> right. I'm not necessarily trying to do just music, but I'm just right. trying to do like like. 209 Central Valley has a lot to offer exactly. and everyone brushes it off just because, I mean, in the past I felt like you could, but with COVID and everything else, right, it's kind of exactly. showed that, hey, we have everything that everywhere, everywhere else has. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, we do. A lot of artists, a lot of creatives, lots of that out here. Mm -hmm. And so what do you personally think sets apart the Central Valley versus other movements? And I know it might be a little different, but personal perspective. Um, I guess my personal, I've always been like from here, so I'm more comfortable from here. So everything like... Well, that I'm around, it's a lot of like, um, I guess like unity. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like we're all at the same level trying to do certain things. Yeah. People that I work with personally, it's like we're all on the same level trying to do the same yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. And so. you want to help promote them. Exactly. So it's just like we're like building up. You That's know? cool. That's so, cool. I really yeah. like that. Yeah. Cause I just, I've always thought that like, especially shows, like we have some place that you can do shows, mm -hmm. but we should be able to have way more places to do shows or right. at least like, I mean, we have Fresno, but that's a little too big. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> right. we don't need, we don't need the Save Mar Center or whatever, <laughs> right. but we need like more like hundreds of people arenas right, just exactly. to put more people on. Cause it seems like people from the Bay area are listening to Bay area music. Mm -hmm. Like why can't that happen in the Central Valley? Why right, can't people exactly. be listening to Central Valley music? Sure. Maybe right. they might think it's country music, you know. But, right. uh, <laughs> but we got more. some rappers too, okay? <laughs> right. And so uh, what inspired you to start making music? Was there a specific inspiration or? Um, inspiration? I think just, you know, like my love for it. Actually, no, there was inspiration. Um, I sort of wanted to, the whole reason I started making music was mm -hmm. I wanted to kind of put out, um, you know, like a message in my music, what I was saying, things that I was going through in a way some somebody else could understand it yeah. and feel heard through me. So that was kind of what I wanted to do. I wanted somebody that didn't feel understood to listen to me and feel like they were understood through me. Yeah, so yeah. That was sort of my inspiration behind it. I was like, I want to do it for whoever needs to hear it, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that was my inspiration. Okay, gotcha. And then speaking of like uh, a message behind your music, what do you think, what message are you trying to convey? Obviously each song is different. Right. But uh, what, 
at all together, you know what I mean? What do you think uh, is a fan that you're trying, or a fan as is a, can't even talk right now. <laughs> it, you're making me nervous, Deja. <laughs> no, what's a message you're trying to give to like fans? Right. Um, just, you know, there's more than, than just the struggle behind things, more than just what you're going through, more than just the pain. Like there's another end of it, you mm-hmm. know, like it doesn't have to just be battle, struggle, pain, battle, struggle, pain. Like there's another side there's to light all those at the end things, of the tunnel. you know, yeah. there, there always is. And mm-hmm. so that's kind of what I'm trying to give out because I'm giving my struggle, my yeah, pain. That's cool. And kind of showing the other side of it, mm-hmm. you know, that there is this too. So that's kind of what I'm trying to get across That's really here. cool. I like that. I yeah. like that. And then, uh, so this, here's a little fun question. If you could be front row at any concert oh, for yes. anybody, dead or alive, like who would you pick? You can name a few if you okay. can't narrow it down. Yeah, let me think. Front row... Would it, would it matter if it was, uh, you know, four rows back? Or I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I would want to see. And let me think of who I listen to. I'm just going to push this a little closer to you. You're good, though. Okay. Um, <laughs> let me think. Dead or alive. <laughs> I think I would want to see. Man, let me think. I stumped you already. Yeah, this one is hard. Try, I'm like thinking of every single person. You can, you can name multiple. You can, you can name multiple. I'm just people. start throwing. Yeah, throwing yeah. out there. Like, um, I think I would want to see now. Like, oh wait, I got one. I think I would want to see. <sighs> the only per- the only two people that yeah, are in ahead. my mind is Tupac. That's what I'm thinking of. And Eminem. I want to see Eminem. Mm-hmm. Um, I want, I, it'd be cool to see Eminem, like the Slim Shady Eminem, like go back. <laughs> right. I would love to see a bleach blonde hair Eminem. Um, let me think. I guess uh, Alive, I would like to see, um, you know, Mozzie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like to see Mozzie perform. Um, I don't know if you know him. His name's a little pop, but he's kind of like up and coming. Uh-huh. I would like to see him. Um, I know I'm missing so many people, but that's all I can think about. <laughs> no, you're good. No, you're good. That's no, that's good. <laughs> and then, uh, so, what's your personal perspective on mainstream ma- mainstream female rappers? So, like the Cardi B's, the Meg Thee Stallion, the Doja Cats. What I, I mean, what do you what do you think about them? I'm just curious as an up and comer. Like my angle. Yeah, your angle of it. Um, you could trash them. Don't worry. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> my my angle. I sort of um. I've kind of more shifted, like, I sort of always like more like the male rappers. I feel mm-hmm. like that's kind of reflects me a little bit better. Yeah, yeah. Just because what they're talking about, like, you know, I like the, you know, like realness behind words. Yeah. You know, like story. I mm-hmm. like struggle. I like connecting with, mm-hmm. you know, so there's a lot of female artists um, that I like, you know, that mm-hmm. I listen to them and I think they're dope and I think they're cool. But at the same time, like. You don't connect with them. Right. I don't connect with them. So it's like they're not like my top favorite, yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. what I'm trying to reflect and mirror what I, you know, it's a little bit different. Yeah. That. Yeah. I got so, you. That's yeah. funny. <laughs> and, uh, me and my, uh, this is a random story, but me and my buddy, we were watching Doja Cat has a new song, uh, Silhouette or something like that. Mm-hmm. And we were watching the music video and like uh, at some point in the music video, she like becomes like a Spider Woman looking thing. And we're like, and me and my buddy are like, wow, this makes no sense. Like she's just like Spider Man now. That's like ridiculous. And then I showed my fiance that same video and she's like, I think that she's impersonating a black widow and she's like killing the, the people like she's having sex with and i was like that makes a lot more sense than her being a spider-man in the middle of the video and we we're just like oh okay yeah that, that the concept maybe. behind it yeah yeah exactly exactly and then so who do you draw inspirations from musically um, like a uh, artist my inspirations i would say right now let me think um well, like, I get a lot of inspiration, like I said, like, Mozzie with that mm-hmm. sort of thing, you know, just with It's the... Sack, right? Isn't he from Sack or no? Um, I don't... I'm not sure, actually, where exactly where he's from. I'm not sure if it's Sack. Um, um, what was I saying? Uh, like, just, just with the... Is he from... Or where is he from? Uh, I'm looking up right now. Uh, I think it's... I think I'm thinking of someone else. Oh, Oak, Oak Park, Sacramento, yeah. Sacramento it is? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. They just put... Yeah, but he's more like... 
you know, like with his community, like yeah. he's back, talking about different, you know, just like what he's gone through and like showing, you know, like just the, realness, basically. Right, exactly. Helping his people. I like that sort of thing. That sort of thing really inspires me because that's what I want to do. Mm-hmm. So, any artists that are, you know, like doing more than just the music, yeah. that's where I'm kind of drawing inspiration mm-hmm. from for what I want to do. And so, uh, Our Soul did a big bad, right, for you? Mm hmm. Okay. Our Soul is like one of those guys that you're saying, like, right. who's like just more. Dude, than just he's, the yeah, music. he's more than just his music. He's creating every day yeah. in some way, shape, or form, whether exactly. it's a music video so. or what. And he's the one, and he's the one who told me, like, I, I had seen your song, Big right. Bad, but I didn't know, like, your name or anything. Mm-hmm. And then he was like, oh, Deja, yeah, I did a video for her. I didn't know it was that video specifically, <laughs> which is a really good video. But, uh, like, he just seems like there's a, there's a bigger pr- purpose than just I'm a rapper. And he, right, exactly. He's, like, very further. soulful in the sense of, like, he's always talking oh, about yeah. something real. It's never, like, I want to party, fuck bitches or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, exactly. Which I mean, I'm sure it's fun to make one of those songs every now and then. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure everyone will at one point. But right. that you can also do your own twist on it. That makes exactly. it feel better. <laughs> exactly. Tied to you in some way. Exactly, exactly. And then um you working on anything or Yeah, so I have I've had it for a while, I've been working on it for a while. Um uh, my album, my Queens and Soldiers album, has about it has 14 songs on it. They're all finished. I finished recording all of them. Uh-huh. I'm just like it's sort of just like, you know, you got to touch them up, got to master yeah. them, and then I got to upload gotta them. Got to add your ad libs. Gotta make, <laughs> right. Got to do like the cover art. So it's uh-huh. just more of like the finishing touches of the mm-hmm. album. So right now I'm just sort of like picking a date, setting up uh, music videos for that album, That's trying dope. to like wrap it all together. That's really cool. Yeah. And uh, how long has this process taken you? If you don't, I mean, um, just probably. So this is your first, like, this is like your debut album? Yeah, this is my first album. I dropped an EP with seven songs, but never like a full album. Mm-hmm. So. Are, are any of the EP songs on this album or no? Mm-mm. That's dope. No, yeah. Because sometimes people do that. You know what right, I mean? They're, they're like, like, switch it. Over. Yeah, yeah. They're like, here's my new album. You've already heard six songs. No, but uh, right. <laughs> I'm like, so you mean you have four new songs for right. us? Right. <laughs> I think, yeah, I'm pretty positive all of them are like, no, they're all in release. Dude, all that's dope. Isn't it a mixture of like everything? Yeah, like, so kinda, it's you... the whole concept is the. Um, the Queens and Soldiers. I was going to do separate EPs. The Queens, one EP, mm-hmm. and Soldiers, one EP. But my mom told me we put them together. So I was like, okay. So then yeah. I kind of had the concept of Queens, certain style, and Soldiers, a certain style. Oh. You know what I'm saying? So Queens is sort of more like my rapping, more kind of like my bold. And mm-hmm. then Soldiers is sort of like the feeling stuff, mm-hmm. the whatever, mm-hmm. you know, my struggles, all of that. So it's those different concepts. That's it. cool. And where did you, any idea where you come up with the name Queens Soldiers or just something um, that came to you? I have a song actually, it's called Queens. Uh-huh. And so I was like, you know, that's like kind of like a part of me. Like I'm two and I'm princess. So I don't call myself the queen of anything, yeah. but princess, but I do like the concept of a queen, you know, that yeah. kind of like royalty. Mm-hmm. And then the soldiers, you know, that's like the biggest part of me, I feel like, you know, like the being fight. a soldier. Yeah. yeah, the fight, all that struggles, everything. So that was kind of like the concept mm-hmm. behind those two. And then where did two and I'm princess come from? Did you just thought of it one day? Or? Yeah, what's crazy is actually in that song, Big Bad, yeah. the one, yeah, I say um, I'm the two and I'm princess. I just said it. Like I was just writing and I just said two and I'm princess. And then I posted a picture and I put two and nine princess and I was like two and nine princess. Like, that sounds dope. <laughs> yeah, I was like I kind of like that, so I kind of just rolled with it, kept doing it, put it in my body. Yeah, <laughs> dude, it it's thing. cool. It's cool. Like it just like I don't know for some reason it just because like I mean there's not another one, you know what I mean? Right. <laughs> but it just seems like it's like a really good name, like two and nine right. princess. And so I'm kind of like rolling with that and like. I'm like I'm the t- I'm a two and nine princess, not the, but oh, I'm a two and nine princess. That's kind of cool, yeah, yeah. And that's cool so, that you're almost like saying like, hey, it's not just me. There's other right. There's you just other gotta find your yeah princesses. princesses you know? They gotta find and, themselves. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. So that's a. I'm, I want to do merch and stuff, and I want to have that. Dude, Two that's dope. Princess, so everybody, that, you know, that could be your merch it. brand, honestly. Yeah. Like, that's that's cool. Yeah, eventually. So I want to do the Two and I'm Princess, and eventually I want to do, like, other area codes, too. So they could do theirs, okay. wherever they're from, yeah, you know? Because yeah, it's be cool dope. to, you know, we don't have to be, like, the queen or king of all this, but, like, you know, where you're from. This is yeah, where I'm exactly. from, so I'm the princess here. And you're repping where you're from. Exactly. A part of it. and. It'd be crazy to see two and nine stuff everywhere. You know right, what I mean? Like, exactly. <laughs> it'd be so, like yeah. wild. Just because we know two and nine, but not a lot right, of people. Not a lot know. of people do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, and that's like my whole point of this podcast was just I want to shed light on people who are passionate about what they do. Mm-hmm. And I mean, it turned more into a music podcast than I, I, I anticipated it to be. I didn't even <laughs> right. mean for like this podcast. Like, I had my friends on the first five six episodes, mm-hmm. and then I was just like rolled with it afterwards. This is episode nineteen right now. Oh wow! So. 
I mean, I'm just happy with the way it's turned out and came. Right. And it's, it's allowed me to meet people like you, our exactly. soul. Just I, I helped uh, music on a music video for our soul. And that's how I ended up meeting him and reached out to him. was like, we want to do it. And he was just like giving me so many people. You should have this person, this person, this yeah, person. That's dope. He's and then uh, I hit you up like right afterwards. And I was like, oh, man, maybe uh, she probably has like, well, I imagine this is how I imagine girls DMs are, though. I imagine they have like, a lot <laughs> of like flooded with like people and like mine will just get like lost, lost in there. In and right. I was just like, I'm not hitting on you. I just want you on my <laughs> podcast. Like, because that's how right. I like, that's how I imagine that girls DMs are. Yeah, it could be like that. <laughs> oh, it's funny. And so, uh, so you said, who are your musical inspirations again? Mozzie. Yeah, like I'm. I'm not good, like, remembering names of Mozzie. Anybody in <laughs> that sort of... I'm horrible at it, right? too. <laughs> I feel bad, but, yeah, Mozzie just, because, like, what he's doing. So mm -hmm. anybody who falls in, like, that sort of category doing more, that's kind of where I'm drawing inspiration mm, from. Okay. People who are doing more for their community, for their people, mm -hmm. for their, you know, more purpose. That's what I'm getting gotcha. my inspiration from. And what do you draw your style from? I feel like you have a little unique style. It's not like, uh, so, I don't know, it just doesn't seem like the stuff that you see that's popular right now. It's kind of like your own thing. Right. Um... You know, I think about this question all the time, like where I get it from. And I was, I always think like when I was younger and we used to listen to like, uh, like Destiny's Child. Um, that's, that's the vibe I was getting from right, some of your like songs, lot, honestly. Yeah, like I was And when you said like, I need a soldier, I was like, that's, that's what my I favorite song. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny you say that. But so I would listen to these songs all by female artists and I always... You know, like nothing's wrong with love songs, but when I heard the love songs, I was like, oh, like whatever. Yeah, but I yeah. like the ones where they were kind of like more bold. With Independent. Was, yes, exactly. And I like that. So I kind of drew that. And I think that mm -hmm. kind of impacted the way I speak, the way I want to speak, the way mm -hmm. I come across. It's kind of like my kind of like my attitude. In yeah, the music. it seems so, that way. Yeah, I kind of drew it from that, too. That's cool. Yeah. Des Destiny's Child. What, OK, is it OK? Is Ashanti? Uh, I was I talked to my buddy and he was like, I don't know. Is, you know who Ashanti is? Mm -hmm. Is that is that the same era as like Destiny's Child and stuff? Or is that? <laughs> I think. Yeah. Right, 2000s, they're more... Uh, 90s. Oh, 90s. Oh, right. okay, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, her mom's in the podcast studio with us, you guys. <laughs> no, just letting you know, like, we're not just like, oh, what's going on over here? <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, you're born in Modesto, or...? I was born in Los Baños, actually. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. LB, mm -hmm. where our, our soul's from. Our, <laughs> right. Okay. Our soul's getting so much love on this podcast. <laughs> I know. He's, He's going to love it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Born in Los Banos, uh, you live in Modesto now? I live in Riverbank. Riverbank. Oh, mm -hmm. one of my best friends lived, just recently really? moved there. Yeah. And then, uh, and then, so is the hip, how's the hip hop scene in Modesto or Riverbank or wherever you're at? In Modesto, it's like, there's a lot there. Yeah, it seems there's like I, there's more than I, there. than I thought yeah, there was. Yeah, more than we ever thought there would be. Basically, once I started following you is when I, like, kind of opened it up because it's like you have to follow somebody even to, like, see. And right. so, like, when you're posting you in the studio or whatever, and then I'm, like, clicking on other people's, mm -hmm. like, who is this? Who is this? And I'm like, wow, there's a lot of a lot different of artists. Mm -hmm. So, what's that record or where do you record your stuff at? Uh, Deep Sound. Deep Sound. Mm -hmm. And that's just, uh, uh, Recording studio? Yeah. Yeah, it's a recording studio. Gotcha, cool. And then, uh, so then, I'm, I don't even have a question right now. I'm just trying to talk, <laughs> talk. fill it up. <laughs> but, so who who runs that? Um, there's a, it's a um, a guy named Adolfo. He, I think, right, he owns the whole thing. Mm -hmm. um, but my engineer, Adrian, he kind of like, he sort of kind of like runs the studio part of it, recording people's mm -hmm. songs. He does like all of that. Oh, okay. Is there yeah. only one engineer or is there multiple? I think it's just him. Oh, okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, because he kind of has like access to all Yeah, yeah, gotcha. There. I was just wondering mm -hmm. like who was putting that all together. Right. And then uh, have, have you done any shows before out of curiosity or no? Yeah, I've done a, a couple shows, performed a couple times, yeah. Was it right before COVID or even a little bit after? Or Yeah, it was, it was a little like kind of like months before COVID. I had like three shows lined up like in March of that mm, year, April. Yeah. Damn. Oh, so they all got, you know, a, a, at least it gave you a full year to work on the album. I'm sure that I'm sure <laughs> right, that like a lot of time. <laughs> and how did you deal with that during quarantine? Uh, like the, your creative process? Um, well, actually it was sort of helpful to me in a lot of ways. Um, when it first hit and then I was, I wasn't working anymore cause I couldn't work where I was at. So I was just home trying to like think of what, you know, what I was going to do, like what am I going to do? So I kind of just wrote a lot and sort of just focused in on my writing, my thoughts, whatever I was going through. And so kind of like channeling all of that kind of helped me in mm -hmm. the long run, really did. That's cool. But and, yeah. And then, so what is like a, a day in the life of Deja? So you wake up, 
And like, what is your, how do you get in your creative <laughs> process? Is there a certain way? Th obviously things probably just come to you at certain times, but what do you do to try to get yourself into that, that zone? Um, so like getting myself, it kind of just comes like, I'll, I'll wake up. The first thing I do when I wake up, I usually we just, me and my mom would go outside. We'll sit mm -hmm. in the sun for however long. Get some vitamin D. Yes, yeah, so however long <laughs> we want to, whether we drink tea, coffee, do all that. Then we come inside, kind of do our thing, what we have to do for the day. But as far as like getting into the process, it usually just comes to me. There will be like, I'll be going through the day and it, it's always like a line that I'll just kind of like drift through my head. Uh -huh. Like, and I'll just go and then I'll go off of it and I'll just keep going with it. And I'll mm -hmm. be doing whatever and I'll kind of just keep going until I'm like, yeah, I want to put that on a beat. I'll just find a beat and then I'll go on it. That's how it's been lately. Mm -hmm. I've just been kind of thinking of things, of lines, of words. And then I'm like, yeah, I need this on a beat. And then I'll just get the beat. And then you just look for beats or? Yeah, I just go on YouTube and look yeah. for beats or whatever, whatever I feel like listening to. Mm -hmm. But if I want it, if that doesn't happen, I'll just go and listen to beats and then just, freestyle. It yeah, up, just freestyle. Just, and I'm like, okay, this is cool. I'm going to do this. That's so cool. either one of those two. That's really cool. And then uh, who are you have like, a, do you have any people that you're like freestyle with or you know what I mean? Like, or, um, you're, or your friends or whatever? Yeah. Well, if I'm by myself, I'm usually just like freestyle uh, yeah, myself, gotcha. but I do have one friend that I'll freestyle with. Her name's Rebecca. Okay. Was so, she in the big bad music video or no? No, she's. I don't have her in one of my uh, uh, videos okay. yet. I think one of my one of the first videos I dropped, uh, it was a Ric Flair drip remix, and I do have her in that one. Oh, that was like one two years ago though. Okay, but gotcha. Yeah. And then, uh, so you just uh, do use variety for your music videos, just like your the directors and stuff. Um, yeah, just whoever, um, whoever like I'll find. It's mm -hmm. so, it's kind of like hard, but. Um, yeah, just whoever I find. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Yeah, like me and my buddy do a lot of music videos too. Oh, really? So I, I'll, sh I'll show you them afterwards. We don't have to talk about it now. Okay. But yeah, <laughs> I always like plug myself to people. I'm like, all right, <laughs> right. I do these videos too. But uh, <laughs> no. But then, uh, so what's the best advice you've ever been given? The best advice I've ever been given. Um, I think I might have said this before, but it still stands as like the best advice. Um. Uh, I was talking to my dad one day, and it's really simple. The advice is really simple. Mm -hmm. For me, it works yeah. in a lot of situations. But um, I was, like, overwhelmed. I think I was just – I was still in high school, and um, I was, like – I had a lot of stuff to do. I was doing my music stuff, too, at the time in school, trying to go to school, doing my music. So I was, like, overwhelmed. I didn't know how I was going to do all this stuff. And I was telling my dad about it, and I was, like, I don't know how I'm going to do this. How am I going to do all of this? And then he just looked at me and told me, you're just going to do it. <laughs> and I was, like – that's not what I wanted to hear, yeah, you know? Yeah. Like, I wanted to hear something more. Yeah. But then as I sort of, like, went on, like, with that, I sort of just did it. Mm -hmm. So every time I'm in a situation where, like, I don't know how I'm going to do something, I don't know how I'm going to do this, I'm struggling, I'm just like, okay, I'm just going to do it. And there's nothing else to it, yeah. really. Because it's the more you think about something, the more it seems, like, bigger, bigger, bigger. You create the mm -hmm. bigger, you know, gap. You make, yeah, you make you make uh, it bigger. like a molehill into a mountain, exactly. basically. Exactly, you do that. So if you just, you know, like... If it is hard, then it is going to be hard, but accept that and then now move forward into figuring it out. Yeah, you know, yeah. and then once do you it. do that one thing, you're going to be able to right, feel more comfortable, then, take on more stuff. Exactly, because then you're going to realize, oh, that wasn't that hard. You're going to remember that for yeah. future times. You know, like, okay, this wasn't that bad, so let me just do it, you know? Mm -hmm. So that still stands as the best advice I've been given. <laughs> just do it. <laughs> just, you're just going to do it. <laughs> That's dope, though. <laughs> and then... Uh, Honestly, that's all the questions I have. So we're just gonna riff now, okay? <laughs> okay. No, I'm just kidding. So, uh, so I don't know. So I don't know. I've, I've been stuck on this whole Central Valley thing, and I just don't know why it seems like we're not behind other places, but it seems like we're not as community based as right. as we should be. And I mean, do you have any thoughts on like why you think that is? Yeah, I'm not really sure why. Maybe just division between certain things, certain people, different crowds. Yeah, like and, and I think it is a big huge different crowds like right. versus uh whether i'm not saying like aggie folks or country folks or rap folks right. or whatever but it just seems that there's always like i don't know there's not there's not a lot of big events or fun things that people right like all together come to do together it's not like oh you're from merced modesto los banos let's all do something together it's right. almost seems like like merced does its thing turlock does its thing right, modesto like does separate. its thing and i i don't know i don't know why that is 
<laughs> right. It is like that. Yeah. That's kind of like what, like how you said, and like I, that's why I kind of want to make a thing, like. Bring yeah, exactly, together, and that's why I'm trying to make a thing know? too. Exactly, and like, so we're I, all two on nine. Yeah, and so. I yeah exactly, and it's like we should be able to work together on things. And right. I think there is now more after the pandemic than ever before. I feel like there's more people that mm -hmm. are, and I think it's that people will realize that hey, it, like yeah, like two hours away might not be the beach or the mountains, but. When it comes to things to do, it's about the same now. Right, exactly. I mean, you know what I mean? Like yeah. that's that's what I feel like. The pandemic helped me grow more mm -hmm. than I ever have. So I used to want to like I was supposed to be a high school teacher. I'm a high school substitute teacher. That's what I do. But uh, oh, really? Yeah, yeah. But and I'm a photographer and videographer. Mm. But for the longest time, I was just like, oh, I'm gonna be a teacher because I should be a teacher because I'm supposed to be a teacher because my family were teachers and like my parents right. are. You know what I mean? So I mm -hmm. should be. And then it wasn't until the pandemic hit and then I lost my job at Rivets and then my subbing job as well when it was just like, okay, I have this time. I'm getting right. good money mm -hmm. um, from the government. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, wow, I'm making so much money right now. But like, what do I want to do? What do I want to focus on? And that's mm -hmm. when I was just like, I bought a camera. Let's focus on video and photography. Right. And since then, like, I feel like for the first year you do anything, you're kind of like, am I good at this? Or am I even getting better at it? But mm -hmm. then it takes your like full entire year or two years and you look back and you're like, holy crap. Yeah, like, like I've grown. Yeah, lot, I've grown a lot. Without even noticing. Exactly. And so what what do you see when you look back at your musical career? Because I'm sure in five, ten years when you look back, right. it's going to be, you're going to be like, remember that time I did that tiny little podcast? <laughs> <laughs> right. I actually think about that all the time, like how much like I've come like, you know, because when I first started it, um, I was just sort of like, I would do freestyles like in the car and mm -hmm. I'll just rap and then um, just, just post them and that sort of thing. And I kind of was just doing it because I, you know, I loved it and I enjoyed it and I liked the feedback I would get. So it was cool for mm -hmm. me. So, but I never imagined that I would be doing it like on a, like, okay, this is my career. Like, this yeah. is what I'm going to do, you know? So it's a lot different now. Like, I'm kind of learning to understand the the business part of it, yeah. the like work part of it. So it it's cool. It's a lot different. Come a long way in that sense with not knowing anything. Mm -hmm. You just sort of like doing it to now knowing this, this, and this and still doing it. Yeah, you know? exactly. It's a lot different, but that, it's cool. That is really cool. And how would you classify yourself? Are you a rapper? Are you a singer? Probably an artist. I know that. But like, give me a little more detail about. Um. Yeah, I would say, I don't know what I do more of rapping or the singing. Um, it's kind of like just like a little bit of both. It seems like it's almost 50-50, yeah, right? Yeah, just whatever I'm in the mood for. That's kind of like the Queens and Soldiers. It was half and half, yeah. you know, rapping, singing. And it's funny because I almost would think that Soldiers would be the rap. <laughs> and that queens would be the singing, but it's the opposite, the right? Opposite way, and yeah. the, and why do you think that is? <laughs> um, the cause for when I think about it, like queens, like that sort of side of like me and what I imagine, it's mm -hmm. more like bold. Like I'm not thinking of a, mm -hmm. a nice, polite queen. I'm yeah. thinking of a bold, like bow know? down to me type yeah, of. Yeah, uh... like a different kind of queen, you know. So <laughs> that's kind of like where the rap sort of like yeah, mean, yeah, I like bold that comes in, and then soldiers. It's more like. It does seem kind of weird, but it's more like the sensitive, like, you know, like you're a soldier, like what you're going through. And yeah, you're still battling. Strong, still strong and you're battling and mm -hmm. you're worthy of that, but still it's more the sentimental side of it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's cool. That's cool. And then, uh, so you have, like, what do you, what's your goal? I mean, obviously probably to make it, but like, where do you, like, where do you see yourself being successful at? Um, What I really want to like be able to do, like I was talking about with the events, but you know, like. To have events, um, to get to a point where I can have like a, um, like a like a sturdy fan base to where enough people like the message can get out to a lot of people, and have events, you know, where I can give back to mm -hmm. the community, give back to whoever needs That's to cool. do things. Like that. That's like really what I. I've always wanted to do. Even when I was younger, I wanted to do that. So now it's becoming more real. Like I can. Yeah, do you that. can. Like you, yeah. So that's kind of why I want to build my music higher and you're higher. You're building your platform right now. Right, basically, building my right? platform so that I could be able to do these. That's things. cool because yeah. I feel like a lot of people that's not their angle. You know, what I mean? or you know, right. that's not their. Not maybe that's not your angle, but that's not even a lot of people in a lot of people's right, vision. That's right. And like, so your whole thing is just like putting it back into what right. raised that's you really almost. What I, yeah, that's really what I want to do. Like that would be. Yeah, it's kind of like my angle. Like, that's what I want to kind of, like, shift my career into. You know what I'm Yeah, saying? that's cool. That's really cool. So like, I'm just kind of using it. Because obviously music is what it is for me. It's helpful. And I understand it's helpful to people. But I can be do more than that. Yeah. You know? So I'm kind of, like, getting what I can out of, like, the music, speaking, mm -hmm. and then kind of shifting it. You well, know? even, like, I, so when you were growing up, was there any, like, how did how did you go about recording in the very beginning? When I first, like, when I first started making yeah, music? Yeah, when you first started making music. Like I'm saying, because I feel like there's not too many things in this area 
that uh, like are putting kids into like situations where they have the tools to create right. something. So when I was younger, yeah, when like, you were younger, like like fifteen, like in high school. Um. Yeah, I don't. I probably wouldn't have known of anything yeah, really yeah. if it hadn't been for like my mom looking into like studios and things like that. But um, I don't. Shout I, out to you, I, mom. I okay. <laughs> Shout out to you. <laughs> but yeah, the studio in Modesto, like that's kind of like now I know more studios now people that record. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have known yeah. where to go exactly. And I was gonna say, I feel like that's like what basically what you're trying to do is I think it'd be cool to put something in place to where like if you have a kid who like high school kids are very misunderstood, especially being a substitute teacher. And during the pandemic, I just feel so bad for everybody just because right. uh so did you graduate uh after the pandemic? I mean before the pandemic? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. So you you were a year out, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, I was already a year. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So I feel so bad for any of like the juniors, right. seniors of was... the last two years have just been complete shit for them. Mm -hmm. And then their teachers are telling them you're on you're on the computer from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. and then you need to do homework from 3 p.m. to 8. Like it doesn't make sense. Like you want these kids to be yeah. on. <laughs> like you already get mad at them for being on their phones, but you want them to be on a right. computer for 12 hours. I yeah. just feel so bad for them. I feel like there needs to be a place where there's an outlet that allows them to be creative if they want. Whether that's art, whether yeah, exactly. that's music, whether whatever creative process they're into. There's right. no, the school systems are. Weirdly taking away that stuff. Yeah, they really don't put it in. Yeah, they exactly. Don't make that the main point. Yeah, exactly. You know? Like I, I would love to be like a high school photography or videography teacher, but there's only like one position at every school, and it, there's not like a big media section when the whole future is like technology, and it seems <laughs> right. ridiculous to me that that's not right. even accessible. I mean, every now and then there's some schools that do it, but right, but it's kind of like not common. Yeah, you know? exactly. Like it would have to be like a kind of like a bigger school, bigger yeah. area. Or it seems kids. like a newer school will have it. Right. Like uh, we have the school El Capitan and they have like a whole little media department, but mm -hmm. other schools don't have it. And it's like, what yeah, if- Yeah, a lot of them don't. What if you go, what if you're a kid that goes to another school and you don't have that access? Like right. you're just shit out of luck or- Right, like, exactly. It just where do you go? Sense. Where do you look, you know? Yeah, yeah. And so I feel like- like you doing that is going to be big for the community wherever it is because right. and like now that we've been talking about like doing stuff it's not going to be just oh this is a modesto thing you know what i mean it's this like this is a whole whole central valley thing right exactly and whatever i don't know the other area codes in the central valley but i know 209 <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> what are they i, got, I don't even central the whole central valley would it be who knows huh? nine is not central valley <laughs> i don't know either 209, yeah, we're putting two you nine, on the map for sure. <laughs> 209 is up there for sure. <laughs> we'll figure out the rest of them later. Yeah. And so do you have a favorite song that like that you've written? Um, ooh, favorite song that I've written. I have a lot like that I haven't put out, but I think one that I put out. I like. The big bad one is cool. When I was listening to it on the way over here, actually, I was listening to the uh, words. Yeah, I was I'm like, like, okay, this one's cool. So oh, that dude, one I like. my favorite line in that. What do you <laughs> say? You're like, oh, uh, what? I'm like, you're like, you say your weight. You're like 130. And oh. like, if you can't bench me, what what <laughs> what is it? Um, <laughs> Yeah, 130, don't hit my line if you can't bench me. Yeah, yeah, that's like... <laughs> Which is funny, yeah, it makes me laugh. My brother, he he listened to this song. Uh -huh. And it's funny, like, why my family listens to my songs, because I, yeah, I know, you I know, know you it's mean. different. But he was laughing, and he was like, you don't care about that. And then I started laughing, because I was like, I really don't, but I was just trying to be just mean. You no, know? yeah, like, yeah exactly. You were like, going with the persona that yeah. you would put on that song. You're <laughs> just, just like... Be a little mean there. But yeah, you're, that was definitely your queen a persona, right? right you're yeah, just it like, was. like bow down to me, bitch. That's what I felt. That's the vibe I really was getting from it. Right. <laughs> That's funny. I'll get people that'll message me and they'll tell me like, "Oh, I can bench one thirty. <laughs> the guys in the DMs, <laughs> they're like, "Hey, I can bench one thirty. I'm like, "Hey, yeah, that. you guys might want to get those numbers way up. <laughs> you gotta make so a new funny. song and be like double that, okay, right? you guys. <laughs> Then that, that'll cut your DMs in half. Right, you know what no I mean? More of those. No more 130 people. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh so how do you how do you plan your moves? It's just it's just things that come to you or like you know like, what I mean? Like your your goals, career, moves in the sense of uh like what you think is next for what, you what's is coming yeah next. i'm still getting like the hang of that like when i set up <laughs> events it's sort of just like okay i'm gonna do this i'll write it down real quick sometimes i forget sometimes you know like start, so i'm learning how to like get uh like a groove on that sort of thing mm -hmm. remembering writing them down like scheduling things better but it's usually it always works out like when we do go to events mm -hmm. things like that things that i want to do it works out but 
I'm still figuring out how to mm-hmm. get it like more organized. More I, th- I think, uh, let me tell you, I'm uh, 28 years old and I'm still trying to figure <laughs> that out. And I think it's just like growing up is just right. one of those things where like, especially now that I'm trying to do more for the freelance stuff. So I'm trying mm-hmm. to do like real estate videos and real estate photography. It's right. like, I'll be like, oh yeah. Like someone will text me and I'll be like, yeah, definitely. Like definitely still down for that to cancel right. something else. I, like, <laughs> I do that all the time. I feel so bad, but I just that's, that's get more a, organized. Yeah, right exactly. Now. That's why when I, uh, like when we were uh, messaging on Instagram, then I was like, oh crap, I never told her I live in Merced. Like, <laughs> I know, and I never asked. Yeah, so no, I know, like... <laughs> I know. And we're just like, and then it was the day of, and I yeah. went back and I was like, oh, I definitely have told her, like, I live in Merced. And then I was like, oh, if hey, just did. letting you know, I live 45 <laughs> minutes away from you. Like, <laughs> I was like, my bad. I'm I sorry. Know, I just assume things. I don't I just, every time I set up something, I'm just assuming, like, yeah, it's a Modesto. It's yeah, a Modesto. yeah. Like, I just assume that everything <laughs> is there, but not like that. <laughs> yeah, I got you. And then, uh, <laughs> so, do you have like upcoming shows now that everything's opening back up or not yet or mm-hmm, not yet? I haven't. I've gotten a few like messages for them, but I haven't got like back to mm-hmm. any of them yet. What's the place Modesto called? There's a, isn't like there a the club? Yeah. Isn't there something where you can perform in Modesto? I well, swear. A place we can perform or just like a club? Or... No, I meant like for you, like you to perform. There's this place I, I should know. I've seen, I've seen somebody there, but like, like a surprise, like Bay Area rappers will come in there. What's mm. it called? I should know. This. I'm only thinking of like the what is clubs. It? Well, maybe okay. Maybe it's a club. They what? have like they have the Palladium and okay. Palladium Sanchezilla. is what I was talking about. Yeah, sorry. Was it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I, like, I'm just okay. saying like you can perform there too, right. though. You know, yeah, I'm not we, saying it. Right. Because there's not yeah. too many like we were talking about earlier. There's not a lot, a lot of, of yeah spots where you can like go set it up. Even outside would be dope. Mm-hmm. Outside would be we should. I know. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of places where we could do that. Yeah, exactly. Different parks, different. I was even, say, like, even a park with a stage. Yeah, exactly. I was gonna say yeah. There's like multiple parks here that have mm-hmm. stages but like if you put that on even if you charge right. like something cheap like five bucks a head you know what i mean just mm-hmm. to do it for the community everyone's getting their own stuff out there like you're getting your stuff out there Everybody people are coming going. together mm-hmm. and it's outside so apparently covid doesn't exist outside right. you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> right i know i figure like once i start like if i do start like an event thing it'll kind of just keep going you know like it'll catch on like okay, yeah she's doing this she does even if, this it'll keep going even if you did it would be cool to do like the same of or the same people but like do a show and right. like Modesto, so do show Stockton, mm-hmm. Merced, Turlock, Los right. Banos. Just touch them. You know areas. what I mean? Just yeah, just touch them all, and then each one you're bringing them closer together and bringing them closer exactly. to the same like, movement. This isn't far from you. This is yeah. Far. We're all stop here. saying that there's nothing to do. Here's <laughs> something. Do something. Yeah, do something. And if you're gonna complain about it, right. that's your own fucking fault. <laughs> like that's why it's just so annoying to me that that. I mean, just growing up. I mean, was it like at your high school too? It's just everyone like here. People used to call Merced Merdad. Like, oh, like <laughs> there's nothing to do, blah right. blah. But like, there's a lot of development coming here, especially thanks to the UC. Right. But I don't know. Yeah. Well, I, I graduated from Oakdale, and that's really like Oakdale, small. bud. Yeah. So lots of people like you know like they just call me like everybody. You went to Oakdale, through. really? Yeah, I went there from third to my sophomore year and then i went back my senior year graduated oh, okay. so I was there, yeah i lived there a while like seven years I think, uh-huh. and i finished school there dang so you lived in riverbank went to oakdale though or you lived in oakdale yeah my when i was a sophomore we moved to um i think when i was yeah when i was a, no, no no i think i was like freshman we moved to riverbank but i still went to oakdale my freshman and sophomore year and then i left and then I went back to Oakdale, finished there, yeah, my senior year. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Really? Oakdale. Yeah. And all Oakdale. I know is that, all, <laughs> all I know is that like uh so I used to work at Rivets, the restaurant in Modesto, and mm-hmm. uh for some reason, like uh like there's a lot of Oakdale people that come to Rivets. Mm-hmm. Uh but everyone would go, like all my coworkers would go, Oakdale, bud. Yeah. And like I don't know why that's a thing or whatever. <laughs> Me neither. But I just know everybody does it. So anytime anyone ever says Oakdale, I go, Oakdale, bud. Every time I bring up Oakdale, people say that. I never called on to it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm I'm doing it. I'm just doing it because other people have. But right. it's just funny to me. <laughs> uh, I don't even know. <laughs> so then uh, went to Oakdale. So you're just like, it's so crazy. I don't know. I imagine that you were 22, 23. <laughs> no, 19. So 19. Dang. And uh, mom full support on following her dreams. Mm-hmm. And that's really cool to have like somebody who's like, no, right. do what you want to do. Because I think sometimes parents... uh kind of shift that away yeah they're like no you want to do something that's like known to be successful mm-hmm. or known to you know what i mean right and so i has that helped push you into- oh yeah definitely having like a you know like a partner like everybody needs you kind of like need a partner like mm-hmm. help you. people have managers people have people that yeah you know so it does help in every single way 
That's Especially because cool. she's my mom. Yeah, you know? exactly. So we're together all the time. Yeah, you so know it's it's not like she's ever going to drop you. Right. I'm sorry, I found a new person. I found right, a... Exactly. <laughs> this real talk guy is pretty, it seems like he's kind of going. I think I'm going to pick him up. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's cool. And so is your mom and so your mom, dad, very supportive of you? Yeah, it was a lot of the time it was just like me and my mom, but more like so recently I've been getting like my dad and my brother more like involved in it. So that's it's cool. cool. It's becoming And more I'm sure like as a, you're growing, you know what I mean? They're like right. and it's not that it's not that maybe they doubted you or anything. It's just right. that so when when you hear someone like, oh, I'm a rapper, you know what I mean? You're always like, are you? Like, but you know what are I mean? You? Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Like, are you? Because I've had, oh my God. <laughs> There's some people that are like, check out my stuff. And like, I'll listen I to know. it. And I'm like, I can't. I can't <laughs> I even listen, listen to the, like half your song, man. Like, <laughs> I was like, I freestyle with my friends. And I, I, I've recorded stuff and it's all just like... I have this alter ego named Bobby and he's just like, like the mean, like not the meanest, but like they like the meanest, like misogynistic, not that like, you know, I'm just like a typical rapper right. and it's so opposite than who I am. But like, I have, I enjoy just like doing, doing that in my free time or whatever. <laughs> right. But I'm like, Hey, if I think that like my stuff that I don't put out ever is better than you, then uh, you're probably not. not. <laughs> you probably shouldn't pursue this as your career. Right. <laughs> and then uh, you, so your, your rap name just Deja. Yeah, I know. I went through so much with that. So used to wh be, what was it? Tell me all the different... It was... Okay, when I first did music, I wanted to... And before I even started doing music, I had like a nickname for myself and it was Blue. Blue. So I just Yeah, I got it from a movie that I watched. But so I would just call myself Blue. Like that was sort of like my... I guess you could explain. B-L-U-E? Yeah, B-L-U-E. And so that was kind of just like my thing. Uh, I started doing... When I started making music... Um, I wanted my name to be Blue, but I would. A lot, everybody told me to do Deja Blue to have like the both oh, of them. Oh, like so Deja I, Vu almost. Yeah, like so Deja I just Blue. so I did both. I was like, okay, because I didn't really like the name. I didn't really think about it, you know. Mm -hmm. I was just like, I just want to do music. Like the name is whatever. Yeah. So I did the Deja Blue, but <laughs> except was, for the fact that every single person will know you by that <laughs> <Right>? name. <laughs> but then after a while, I was like, okay, maybe I'll just cut the blue and just put Deja. So uh -huh. I just did like Deja. But then I was like, okay, well I'll just do my whole name. So. Yeah, why not? So it's, while we're at yeah, it? so it's just both Deja, Deja Montoya. Okay, Deja cool. Montoya. De and Deja's just your real name, right? Yeah. That's a cool name. I really think it's cool. <laughs> like it, I don't know. It seems like it could be a like you're just performer name, Deja. Right, Deja. It, it sounds like very uh mm -hmm. I don't know, it's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh I don't got any questions. I keep saying, and then the, and, and it's then, like, I don't know, I'm more nervous on this podcast than other podcasts. And I think it's because I like, I completely didn't know you where other people, it's like, I met them once or once. twice where like you, I was just like, crap. And then like, I listened to your music, a little, I'm a fan yeah. of you, you know what I mean? It's like, it's just so, it's a cool Different, scenario. Yeah. Right. And with the, the Deja, when my mom was, um. She always tells me when she was naming like me and my brother, she made the names so that way if we ever got like famous, it would be like a a nice you know, name. So my name is Deja Nicole Montoya. That so she, so that she does sound it, good. So she lined it up that way. So it's kind of funny you say that. That's that really Deja. funny. Mm -hmm. And so what's your brother's name? I mean, Eric. Eric? <laughs> he got my he got my dad's name. Oh okay, gotcha, yeah, I gotcha. Sort of that sort of thing. No, but that does that does that's a very like that flows off the tongue. It's like, <laughs> right. Grammy winner, Deja <laughs> Nicole Montoya. I used See to it? always imagine that. <laughs> That's funny. People's Choice Award. We can go smaller, start right. up. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, though. That's yeah. Look at you, Mom. What's your, what's, sorry, what's your name again? Ruby. Ruby? What's your full name, Ruby? Ruby Jean Montoya. Ruby Jean Montoya. See, that sounds good, too. Mine's Micah Brian Yaley. <laughs> Oh, is like it's like, kind of like Italian, like yeah, Yaley. Like, <laughs> like that's why I always tell like people because, but if you look at it, it it looks like it's spelled deal. deal? And so, like oh, all my life, yeah. it's like Mika is Mika deal oh. here, and I'm like <laughs> Micah Yaley. Like it's, next day, Mika. I'm like Micah. <laughs> like I went through that in school all the time. I hated it. It was so embarrassing. What do people call you? Um, Dija. Yeah, yeah Dija Deja. <laughs> oh yeah, um, yeah. Dijon. Something like Dijon. <laughs> I don't know how that one happened, but I would dread it. Like whenever we had subs, I was like, they're gonna get it wrong. Oh, they always did. Yeah, it's like that's like me. Like right? I'm so bad. Like I'm so bad. I feel so bad for the kids. And I'm, it'd be like a like a normal name, but like there's a lot of Hispanic names that I didn't know like how to pronounce or I didn't know how they were spelled. Right. I knew how to say them, but I didn't know how they were spelled. And so I'll just like say the names horribly wrong, and they'll say it. And I'm like. <laughs> That makes a lot more, more sense. sense than what he said. Yeah, and then when I was uh, 
I think I was like in fifth grade and they let me like announce like uh, names for baseball for some reason, like for a little league game. And so I was like doing it and like, I like, I went to church growing up. And so like, I see like Jesus written down. So I'm like now batting like number eight, Jesus, Jesus <laughs> Messias. And like, everyone just starts yelling at me. They're like, Jesus. And I was just like, I like, I go to church. I know that's Jesus. Jesus. Like, and they're like, no, Jesus. And I was like, God damn it. <laughs> that's like a funny yeah after a while like i think more so when i got like junior high high school i, was, I would just tell everybody like because everybody i would never correct it because i was way too shy to tell uh-huh. them they're wrong so but everybody would be like it's deja it's deja but i would tell them like don't no don't tell them. <laughs> it's just, okay just let them so uh, whatever they wanted to call me that day like i'll just let them mm-hmm. and so <laughs> when do you felt like you started break, getting out of your, your like shell of being shy because you said you were shy growing up you know what i mean yeah, so i, I mean was, like, right right now it's got to be quite the opposite then yeah it's definitely changed a lot even like, because I always wanted to sing, even when I was like in elementary school, and we would have choir, but they had to try out, and I would never, like, I would never do that. So like, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade, even junior high, like, mm-hmm. towards junior high, I sort of forgot about like the singing and stuff, but I always wanted to, but I was too like shy to do it. But um, it sort of just went, started going away when I started doing, um, when I started doing it, I started like performing, um, well, not performing, but like my... Um, my uncle, when we would have like mm-hmm. family, um, so some karaoke. Yeah, and stuff. he would make me rap. Yeah. So every, they would want me to. My whole family, they would want to hear me. They would want to record me. And so when I would start doing it, because I'd be so nervous, I didn't mm-hmm. want to, but I didn't want to like not do it. You yeah. Know? So I would just do it, and then it would make me feel like, okay, More this is fun. This is good. So it started just like as I started doing music, and I found confidence in the music because I started realizing like, wow, I'm like I'm not good at this. You know, like, yeah, I can do yeah. this. So I started like realizing, you know, like. If there's nothing more to it, like I'm good at this, I can do it. Yeah, Why not? exactly. You know? like, so it kind of like it did help me get out of that shell because I could cool. perform. And I guess I think I'll get nervous. Like it just kind of like depends. Sometimes I'll be really nervous. Sometimes I won't. Like, yeah. You know, it depends. Different things, but not, it always goes away. Yeah. Every yeah. time I start singing, it'll go away. That's so, cool. Yeah. That's really cool. And then so so you were sorry, mom. <laughs> I'm directing this at you. Uh, so I'm sure while you were uh, like while she was growing up, you were listening to her sing, and you were probably like. <laughs> Oh, like my daughter's really good at this, and and so how was that? Like, did were you just trying to convince her, like, hey, you should go out, you should sing, especially since you saw how much she loved it. Yeah, well, I was always telling her to sing like little songs, like the little lullabies or whatever we would hear, little you know, the little songs you hear for the little kids and stuff. But she was like, she said she was really shy, so she didn't really sing a lot in front of me. She mm. kind of do it more. You didn't didn't even sing in front of right. the mom. <laughs> wow, Deja, really shy. <laughs> so, it wasn't until she got older and I, I was hearing her do these little videos in the car with her friends and stuff. And I was like, okay, that's really good. And then she kind of got me into it and then recording. And so ever since then, I've been kind of recording her. That's dope. That's really mm-hmm. cool. That's really cool. <laughs> so basically what Deja's mom just said is that Deja was even shy to perform in front of uh, her. But once Deja started yeah. putting it out there, her mom started fucking with it. <laughs> Okay. That's not what she said, you guys. That's a very uh, horrible summary. I, I wonder what your mom thinks of me. <laughs> and then, so, what are your interests outside of music? Um, my interests outside of um anything like outside. I really like to be outside, like doing whatever, whether it's like by water, lake, stuff like that. We have like a we have a river by our like like 10 minutes away from my no, house. No, yeah, I know exactly what River Jacob Myers. Yeah. yeah, and it's so, like, it's so nice. So anything like that outside. Is that the park that has, like, the circle of pine trees? They have, like, a... There's a park out in, in Riverbank that's, like, there's, like, the circle of pine trees that's super nice. I ended up taking... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. With the benches. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. And I ended up taking photos out there. You have to have, like, a permit or whatever. But I, got, I snapped a... The, the guy even came and stopped me from taking oh, pictures. Really? I was like, come we took on. pictures yeah. there. We didn't know No, that. no, yeah. Well, I think it's because it's if you have, like, an actual oh, okay. camera or whatever. It was like he was like stop that's using your permit i was like what if i'm doing this for free for my friend right and he was like well technically no and i was like i'm just gonna okay. snap a couple more dude <laughs> it'll be fine like no one's getting hurt out here right. it's a, a park in riverbank we're fine right. <laughs> yeah so just stuff like that outside i like to be outside um what else do i like to do i guess yeah like writing mm-hmm. um yeah, I'm just thinking about singing. Yeah, I know. So it goes like, back to That's okay. That's okay. It goes back to it. And then right. uh, what What do you think your most useless talent is that you have? Do you have a useless talent? Um, For me, it's like I can spin a basketball really good on my finger, but it's not that I can play basketball really good. Right. It's just like I can I randomly can, do that. I can, you know, like when you flick your tongue, kind of do. Yeah. I can do it really loud. Like, Let's do it. I 
I think it's kind of loud. <laughs> she, just, <laughs> no, she just shook her head. Really. <laughs> no, do it. Come on. <laughs> okay. I, I remember kids doing that in school. Like, go be. That's pretty loud. <laughs> I think like, I that's do a little bit louder, but I'm not going to go. <laughs> it was because my, my dad used to do it all the time and scare us. He does it loud. And he would always, and I would ask him, like, how you do this? How you do this? And he would be like, just hold your tongue to the top and then slam it down. And so I was doing a like history project yeah, yeah. one day and I just kept doing it over and over again. And then I got yeah, it. And now <laughs> and now it's hard. Like people are like, how do you do that? And I'm like, you just put it to the top and then yeah, slam yeah. But it. you were doing it, you're, you probably been working those muscles your whole life. <laughs> right, trying to do it. Uh -huh. but, I remember yeah. in, in high school, there was like, uh, like people would chew and stuff like that. But I remember this was a thing. Like, oh, you remember yeah, like, never... like flipping your finger on like that? that. Yeah, I can't do it with this hand. But it just, I, it, all you do is you shake it until your finger literally like hits again. <laughs> I used to like slam my hand. You gotta hold it, gotta hold it like that. Oh, okay. And then it, it'll eventually start doing it. But like, it's just such a, like, it's like not that I ever chew or will do this, <laughs> but now I can do make it. it. <laughs> it's like, so, but it's just like things like, that's like almost like that. Like when you're growing up, it's right. like a something you thought you were gonna use more in your life. <laughs> but it's not. Yeah, it's not at all. <laughs> that's like a funny. And so Queens and Soldiers is coming out, TBA. Yeah. And we don't have a date yet. No, no date yet, but it is coming out. Within the next six months? I would say in the next one or two. Okay, one or two months. So yeah. two months, Queens and Soldiers is coming out. Yes. We got all new songs on that. All new songs. All right. What, anything else you got going on in your life, Deja? I think that's about it. That's, that's about it. Just, just finalizing that album? Mm hmm And then I'm going from there. All right. And do you want to give any shout outs to anybody? Oh, I'm so bad at this. Um... Let me give a shout out to my engineer first, Adrian. Give another shout out to my mama right here. Yep. Give a shout out to my girl Rebecca La Loca. Uh, and that's all I'm gonna give. <laughs> that's okay, gotcha. That's all that's all that's all good. And everybody else who fucks with Deja. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'll remember you next time. Exactly, exactly. Deja, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Of course. Thank you. <laughs> Real Talk Studio presents the hottest song coming out the 209, Deja Montoya, Big Bad. Deja, tell them what you don't like. But don't like when I rap and I know why. Cause I be meaner than a bull telling no lie. Call me Baylor, he don't know what I go by. Deja the world said my name, no you know my. Hey, cause I ain't nobody's baby. Doing what I want, it ain't enough for debating. Know that girl hit me mad when that boy play me. But she riding shotgun when he bump, don't save me. Hey, yeah, but that ain't my concern. And I ain't never had a time, can't wait my turn. Can't get too cozy, won't fake my burn. Can't say what I see, so just. Hey, ain't no telling what I might do. And the most switch real quick like a light do. Thinking that you love me, I don't even like you. Think that we alike, but I promise I ain't like you. I put that on. So come riddle me that, I'll put that butt on his coat, he gon' triple it back, I'll make a sweat me, sit back and relax, I been had that, I ain't back tracking the that, ayy, no shame till I go up, I'ma go get it, and that girl just a goer, tell me all the time still, act like I don't know her, I was in the crowd, now I'm the main flower, ayy, cause I'm the two and I'm princess, and I don't care why she mad, cause she been pressed, and I seen the way you move, I ain't impressed, been a hell and back, and a sit on make me grin less, ayy, you ain't with me, you against me You wanna be my valentine, come convince me I'm too much for you, know you can't condense me 130, don't hit my line if you can't bench me They say days, keep your foot on their necks But I walk on high ground and just wish them the best Say he playing in the field, but he warm on the bench Pin it by not, I said my health in a chat Ay, check me, I'm as real as a guest Check me, little boy, you ain't considered a threat And if he said that he'd die, drop him off for the he was part of the dream and now we cut from the set, ayy Can't let him know my next move so I zigzag I don't need love from nobody, need a big bet Eventually I bit bad till I got a million in the bank I can kick back, ayy And even then I couldn't sit back, switch back Everything I spit, yeah, this big fast Baby, what's a dog to a wolf? Call me Big Bad He can never hit me back, I know it got a big man, ayy I'm irreplaceable, it's killing her Say I always got a gas, I'm just feeling her Try stealing my swag, couldn't steal enough You can hang around me, baby, you ain't real enough Ayy, I'm irreplaceable, it's killing her Say I always got a gas, I'm just feeling her Try stealing my swag, couldn't steal enough You can hang around me, baby, you ain't real enough Ayy, I need you to be gone And I don't need nobody, rather be on my own Ayy, so I told that boy to move it along Cause I don't need nobody, rather be on my own Ayy 
need you to be gone And I don't need nobody, rather be on my own, yeah I was lost, now I stand on my own Used to beat around the bush, now I'm bow to the bone, ayy This is it, real talk, what not?